Hi everyone, welcome back to AI News. My name is Ethan. This is Felicia. And a lot of things is going on in、yes. our state. A lot of things that we don't like. It's、uh, happening in our state, especially in our school.、Uh, recently, there is another incident that is hurting our education system.、Uh, today, we have a special guest. Yeah. Without further ado,、uh, I will let him introduce himself.、Uh, can you please introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. No problem. Thanks for having me on.、Um, 大家你好，我我姓诸葛，我叫诸葛森。My name is Ryan Jurgensen.、Um, I do speak a little Chinese, but we'll do the interview mostly in English. It's good to meet all of you.、Uh, I am currently serving as the president of the Sunol Glen Unified School District, and I do have to just clarify at the beginning that the things that I say here represent my own opinions and not that of the district or the school board.、Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for having me on. Good, to, good to be here. Not a lot of school. Board meeting and the school board thing will get on the news,、mm. and we saw you, and we know what happened. Please tell us a little bit about what happened, what's going on, and why you are getting into a situation you are in. So、uh, the reason I'm here talking to you today,、uh, I suppose, is because of the controversy and the.、Uh, The news that has been stirred up in our small little school district.、Um, this is not something that I wanted. I don't want controversy. I don't want to have to be on the news. But this is where I find myself.、Uh, I was first appointed to the school board、uh, a little over two years ago when、uh, a member of the school board vacated their position, and then had to rerun a little over a year ago. So ran, campaigned, ran,、uh, and won the seat for four more years.、Um, and there, as with anything political, there was a little bit of you know people having different views and saying things in the public and in the community, but it was nothing too too strong.、Um, but、uh, more recently,、uh, our small town, which is you know only about a thousand residents. We have a one-school school district. It's only a K through eight school.、Uh, for high school, our kids have to go to a neighboring city, Pleasanton, or or a different city to go to high school.、Uh, we have two hundred and seventy students, more or less, and about seventy percent of those transfer from neighboring school districts into our school because we have a a good school. I think it's performing really well. Um, so we have a lot of inter-district transfers that come to our school, and they bring a, a lot of good、uh, diversity and care、uh, and, and emphasis on education. So I wanted to be on the school board as a parent of four of the kids.、Um, we live in the small town. We live in the small district, and I wanted to be more involved. I had attended meetings, board meetings, town hall meetings,、uh, gotten involved with the school some, and wanted to have a little more. Um, you know, interaction and、um, help in the school to to help my children and all the kids in that school.、Uh, the controversy really got going.、Uh, let's say it was small controversy with the the other board member on、uh, that I serve with.、Uh, some people didn't like some of the things she was doing,、um, and then it really got going back in August when there were members of the community that.、Um, Brought forth requests to the school board to have、uh, various different flags、uh, put on the fence or flown on the flagpole,、um, and that was in response to the、uh, pride flag being flown on the flagpole prior to that. And so they wanted to have other different flags flown, and they brought that to the superintendent. And the superintendent met with、uh, one or more of these individuals and said, "You know." This is not a decision that the superintendent should make, as far as what sort of flag policy we have and whose flags are going to fly and whose don't.、Uh, why don't you bring this to the board? So that individual and three others came to a board meeting,、uh, said what they wanted to say, and requested that it、uh, be agendized for a future meeting.、Um, they wanted to fly other flags or have some sort of policy written up. Uh, so I found myself as the board president, trying to、uh, chair the meeting.、Uh, then 
uh, telling them that we would put this on the agenda for a future meeting. And I left the meeting and started the next uh, week or so contacting the attorney for the district. My question to the attorney was, what do we do? What is the best legal advice you have for our school district on these countering arguments of flying other flags, flying everybody's flag, and how do we handle that? The, the attorney uh, weighed the option between flying everyone's flag and limiting it to just the US and California flag and choosing not to fly any flags of any uh, group or, or denomination or, or whatever. Uh, so he recommended that the legally uh, safe route to take would be to limit it to just the US flag and California flag and to not have the district get into the business of litigating different flags and different groups, trying to not have to pick and choose winners or people that get to have their flag up and to keep the school a neutral place. Uh, the superintendent at the time uh, told me that she wanted to keep things neutral at the school so that students and families coming to the school would find a, a neutral ground where everyone would be welcome. That all sounded great to me. It sounds great to me to have a place where every family, regardless of your background, ethnicity, lifestyle, family style, teaching style, that everyone can do what they want in their home and then come to a school for learning and for uh, an equitable place where it's neutral and they can focus on reading, writing, math, science, music, art, and not have any one agenda pushed uh, in their direction. Um, so we took that to the next board meeting and apparently uh, there were people in our community who had already started emailing around and calling myself and other people in the community who were considering this uh, bigots and hateful. And they were starting to spread some rumors about what my agenda was. Um, I feel strongly that my personal feelings and beliefs and my quote unquote agenda that they're claiming is not at all something that needs to be pushed in the school. And I have not done that. I have never done that. And I don't do that. What are those rumors they're saying about your agenda? They're, they're giving uh, explanations and rumors saying that myself and uh, the other board member, that she and I are Christian and that we must be trying to turn this school into a Christian school to push our agenda, to ban books. And they're borrowing some arguments and fights that are uh, at a state level and a national level that we see going on all the time. So we see these fights going on. Uh, um, we see claims of book banning. We see claims of uh, agenda being pushed. And they're trying to borrow those fights and bring it to our school. My goal on this resolution regarding the flags was to pick something that was neutral down the middle, legally and politically, to get counsel from the attorney, and that was his counsel, and to implement this so that our school would be welcoming and inclusive for all people. Everyone should feel welcome. I don't feel it's my place to try to pick an agenda in a public school. I feel it is my place to try to represent all of the people in the district and make sure everyone feels welcome that there is no one group that is being bullied. I don't think that minority groups, whether that's race, ethnicity, religion, or some other identifier, none of them should be discriminated against. In California, we have protections uh, for uh, based on gender, based on um, orientation or preferences or ethnicity or race. Everyone should be protected, treated equally, and not discriminated based on those things. So. My goal is to have a place that is equal and fair for everyone. I mean, school can be a very simple place, you know, you're just come here to learn stuff. But those people are trying to borrow all the fights to the school and make school to be a, like a battlefield or something. Yeah, yeah, like to control kids' education. Yeah. That's not this guy's agenda. That's my agenda. <laughs> <laughs> I try to control my kids' education. I don't want them to go to public school. But what they're trying to do, 
seriously, well, whenever I see this news mm-hmm. on the on the news, the first thing I notice is that they don't care about kids' education. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they don't care about kids. At all they care about is agenda. They all they care about is the flag. They don't care about math, reading, anything. They no. just care about how they sh- should be on the screen. How they could. Put this on the national. How they can be famous and the ideology stuff、yeah. to like brainwash every kid in the school. Yeah, I agree with some of it, but I believe as a Christian, we 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 need to fight back, and you need to use your political power to、uh, keep things in the neutral ground, like you said. I am Christian. I I feel very strongly in my faith,、um, and I am、uh, very much a believing person, but. Um, I understand that in a public school there are people that come from all different backgrounds. I understand that there are people who have different faiths,、uh, various different Christian faiths,、uh, Judaism, Islam.、Uh, in our community, there's people from India that are believers in in、um, uh, that are they're Punjabi, that are that are Hindu, and there's a lot of different、um, belief systems. And I think all of those people should feel welcome and to interact and share the good that they bring into community.、Um, there are values that our that our faith gives us, and that is a, a guiding light to us about trying to to be kind, trying to welcome people, to show love. And it's a I found it's a very tricky、um, a very tricky stance to try to. Hold firm to my faith and my beliefs,、uh, and figure out how to implement the the ideas of being kind to other people, treating everyone、uh, with love, and bringing that to the school, and trying to help others to to do the same.、Um, I, I would love for all parents to be able to bring their kids to the school and to not feel like there's an agenda being pushed, to not feel discriminated. My children, since this has all happened, have been bullied at school. There have been people who have made comments to them in the hallway, who have said some rude things to them,、uh, and I have to now bring this up to the administration of the school to let them know my kids are being picked on. They're being bullied. Why? Because their dad has taken a stance which was literally neutral, down the middle. But there are certain groups who are trying to weaponize it and politicize it, and to call me things like a bigot or、uh, that I'm hateful to people who are in the LGBT community, which I'm not. I I try to treat everyone with love. I try to practice my religion, and not push it on people. I'm happy to share my faith with others if they want to know more, but I don't feel it's my place to do that at school, and. Uh, and I would not want other people with their faith to be pushing it on my kids at school. I feel like that's something personal that can be done at home, and school can be reserved for what it was intended for—to be a place of academics, a place to teach kids basics of, you know, citizenship and civil interaction, teach people about math and reading,、uh, to help them learn physical education, to run around, to play, to interact with other kids. But there should never be. A a pushing of an of an agenda on on kids, from myself on their kids or from other people on my kids. What do you think their agenda is? I have an idea about because from my,、uh, I, I've been reporting news for the past three years. The reason they want to attack the American flag,、uh, they, they don't just want to Replace the California flag. They want to replace the American flag. To them, the American flag represents a Christian nation.、Uh, it represents white privilege nation. They, they that's why they want the BLM flag. They want the LGBT flag. All the other want... flags flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you say like, okay, we can have the American flag, and then we have the California flag, and then you have all your、uh, LGBT flag, and then、uh, the Black Lives Matter flag. But we on our side will have the Gaston flag. We will have the Betsy Ross flag and everything. They will say no. They will say you're hateful. And then, but at the same time, they are the one that's being hateful. So I think that what they're trying to do is attack the American flag and maybe the California flag. Do you think that's what what's happening right now? And this country's motto is "E pluribus unum," from many to one. 
this country was founded on some principles that are very important. Those principles, those founding documents are why this country has done so well. This country was uh, 13 different colonies originally. Now it is 50 states and some territories. And that the flag that we have for this country uh, is a unifying flag. The state law requires, and that was part of our policy, not only do we fly the United States flag and the California flag, but every day we need to do a patriotic observance, such as the uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And in that pledge, which we say at our board meetings and which is said in our school every day, and unfortunately there are a lot of schools in California that don't do the Pledge of Allegiance anymore, but in our school we do. And in that pledge, we pledge allegiance to one nation under God, which is indivisible, not divided up. Uh, there was a, a belief early on that if those 13 colonies were divided up, they would fail. If they were unified, they would be stronger. I believe our greatest strength as a country is to be unified. Our unity is our greatest strength. When we are divided, when we fight, we fail. We see that on a national level. We see people divided into two parties. We see people disenfranchised by those parties and leaving them. We see people who are dividing themselves up within the parties. When we divide ourselves, we fail. Uh, our community in our little town has people from all walks of life, all different ethnicities, uh, racial backgrounds. Some are ranchers, some are tech people, some are more hippie style, some, you know, everyone has different beliefs in our small, our, our valley, um, but and our, and our diversity is great, but our diversity is great if we can unify. This, this country had a, a big problem uh, 150, 60, 70 years ago, uh, we had a civil war. We had certain states that wanted to leave the union, that wanted to fight it. There were many men who died fighting for unity to bring this country together. Before that, we had a revolutionary war where colonies banded together to fight uh, other government agencies that wanted to overrun this country. The Declaration of Independence and the founding documents, the Constitution, which put forth that all men and women are created equal, that everyone has a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And it's not just based on if you agree with a certain uh, belief system. It's not just if you look a certain way. Everyone is welcome. You are welcome. I'm welcome. Everyone can be welcome. And that unity brings us together. This country and this flag stands for one nation, which is indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It is very simple. It is very sweet and it is unique. And we, we believe in law over individuals. That is why we have good men and women going and sacrificing for this country, fighting for it. And when they come back, they put their hand on their heart or they salute our American flag and they know what they're fighting for. It is a unified United States of America. That is what I believe in and what I will fight for. And I feel it is, it is a very deep patriotic thing. I feel there is a, an important belief in a higher power. And while I'm Christian, I feel like people of different faiths can come together to share in their collective uh, faith and good works for this community and help lift this country. But you're right, that flag the United States of America flag is the most inclusive flag of all flags. There's a new pride flag called the inclusivity flag. That doesn't represent everyone in this country. There's a, <laughs> as you mentioned, there's a BLM flag or a Gadsden flag. There's a NRA flag, a Catholic flag, a Christian flag, a, a flag for the nation of Islam or Israel. Those flags, while great for those individual groups possibly, don't represent everyone. And that's fine to have your unique belief system and your unique um, culture and heritage and to bring that to this country. But we do need to recognize the unifying uh, effect of not only the United States flag, but of this country and what it stands for. It's not the flag itself. It's what it stands for. It's an idea. It's a belief. We, we understand uh, 
our flag is our the reason that we're united.、Mm. And now we have different ethnicity, different culture, different everything. But that is what we stand together. It's、uh, three principle: e p l o w e s unum, in God we trust, and liberty. That's the ultimate American value.、Uh, but right now, they're attacking this flag. How can we help you? Because you are getting recall for standing up for that flag that all <laughs> Americans should stand up for. Our soldiers overseas died for. When I look at the American flag, I, I don't think Americans really understand how important this flag is.、Mm-hmm. During the Hong Kong protest, people wave American flag. It stands for freedom. During Brazil's and Venezuela and Cuba, when they want freedom, when they want to have voice, when they want democracy, they wave American flag. But so many people in United States don't understand the meaning of this flag, and they're protesting against it, and they want to take it off, and they want to attack people like you who stand up for the flag, and they want to recall you.、Uh, how can we help you?、Uh, As a warrior of this country, of your district, and try to protect our kids, not just one American value in it in in our system, but where you actually want it to be a neutral ground where everyone is free and everyone can say whatever they want and everyone it's a、uh, can stand under that flag, be protected under that flag. How can we help you? I appreciate your sentiments and I agree with you. I. I love meeting people who have come to this country from other places, and who really know how special this country is and what that flag stands for. I love meeting people who have come from countries where they were oppressed and did not have that freedom, and they cherish what we have here. So thank you for bringing that up. It is something very special,、uh, and there are a lot of people, like you mentioned, who are living here, born and raised here, who take it for granted, don't quite understand. How special it is, and how close we are to losing it.、Uh, there was a, a president who said,、uh, "We're only what one or two generations away from losing our freedoms," and it's true. We we always need to be fighting for it. So, in our small town, in our small district, we would greatly appreciate any help anyone can lend to us.、Uh, you did say I'm getting recalled, and、uh, that's not quite true yet. They're attempting. Uh, and we think we will be successful because we have a winning message. We have a message that truly is about including everyone, making everyone to feel free, welcome, and to meet on neutral ground. We have a winning message of of truly being inclusive of all people and treating each other pe- other people with、uh, dignity and respect. So our message is one of coming together as one nation, like we do with、uh, this country and with the flag. Coming together as one nation, and also in our small area, coming together as one Sanol. So our website and our anti-recall campaign is onesanol.com. So if you want to learn a little bit more, go to our website onesanol.com, and you can learn a little bit more about it. You can click on the button to donate, and a- anyone who donates, I mean, even a couple dollars, five dollars, or or even if you're able to to donate more. What we're going to do is we're going to send out flyers. We're going to keep our messaging about about kindness, about、uh, unity, about everyone coming together and treating each other with、uh, love and respect. So、uh, this is something that we can stand for. And、uh, those who are trying to recall me are part of a group that has an agenda that wants to push their angle,、uh, push what they want to do. And we we try to take a stand against it and to stand for what's right.、Um, there are outsiders from Oakland, Fremont, San Jose, from different communities, from Castro Valley that are coming in and protesting and waving flags and and getting upset and yelling at kids and yelling at my wife in the parking lot. And it's all over me trying to stand for freedom and unity for all people. This is these are rights that everyone gets to enjoy.、Uh, so. We want to reject the outsider-driven recall. We want to reject the、uh, activist-driven recall, and to stand for what's right. So, if if you guys can, you know, lend support,、uh, we can send out our flyers. We can send out mailers. We can go door to door. We can help to get this message out there.、Uh, putting the website together, updating it, keeping it up is is costly. 
So uh, any help that uh, people can can throw our way, we would greatly appreciate it. And it'll go to a good cause that is going to help protect the children in our school. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now, this is a battle for everyone. Like, yeah. like, like what you said, this is a battle that we all need to fight. We can vote our way into socialism and ty tyranny, but we have to shoot our way out. And let's hope that with people, more, more people like you standing up for it, mm. it doesn't have to go to... Uh, that Th that direction <laughs> yeah yeah and we're appreciate that you are standing up for our children for our community because like you said those people are outsider they are from other community they are just against what you are stand for and they're driving long way they're bringing their like activists and those like violent people come here and yelling at your wife and yelling at those children that's that's horrible Mm. No one should do that to a community that want to protect American value. And indeed, like you said, our school is welcoming everyone and everyone have to feel safe in this, in this area because people come here to educate themselves. They learn math, they learn English, they learn sports, they learn everything they need to learn. They're not here to learning the ideology that for like transform kids and lead them to like socialism, communism, that's not the school stand for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're appreciate that what you're doing and we're encur encouraging people like, if you are living in this district, please go to support. Please use our like Christian way, like the peace way to tell people, we hope to protect our school and protect our children. Yeah. Now, a, a lot of our viewers are homeschooling their kids, and I want to say to them, we know that your kids is safe under your arm, but it's about other people's kids. As Christian, we care about our neighbor, we love our neighbor, so a lot of parents don't have the abilities or don't have the chance to homeschool their own kids, so they send them to public school. It is one of the way that we need to protect their kids we need to protect our neighbors kids we need to protect our community our country our value so this is what you can do please uh, go to this website and then uh, support what they're doing right now thank you for for lending your support and and like you said some people are homeschooling but do we really want to end up in a society full of people that have grown up in public schools and have been indoctrinated in in certain ways so our society will be shaped by what is in our schools right now. Children from your school, from the district, that one day they're going to be mayor. You know, one day they're going to run for Congress. <laughs> and one day they're going to rule the world. And we have to take care of those children because we want a peace society. We want American, like, be American. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh... It's really an honor to see another warrior that is fighting for our kids. Yes. So please go support them uh, and protect our kids because that's what we need. And we are all fighters. God told, called us to be the spearhead of his army. Like when we see the army is building up, we, we don't have to go to the right or the left, but we have to stand with God's army. Thank you guys for watching support the conservative value and support our kids and save our kids and save this country uh, my name is ethan and this is felicia and today we have ryan with us thank you ryan thank you very much thank you very much appreciate it bye bye, bye. bye.